this outfit kind of makes me look like a soccer mom. Maybe it's the hair and my earrings. I don't know. This is a review for the Buxom Stay There Cream Shadows. These retail for $17 and are exclusive to Sephora, as far as I know. Buxom is kind of a sister company or spin-off of Bare Essentials, so there's that. These come in 3.5 gram jars or 0.12 ounces, and the packaging is pretty standard. It's like acrylic, you know, little pot. It looks like this. I have three shades. The first one is Mutt, and it's a really pretty bronzy color. Then I have, sorry my air conditioning just kicked on. Then I have Pug, and this is a pretty taupey silver. And then I have St. Bernard, and this color is a gorgeous teal, like this. More of a green based teal. Uh, these claim to be, well, here I'll read you what it says. It says 93% of women agreed Stay There Eyeshadow did not smudge. 90% of women claim Stay There Shadow did not crease. So I have been trying these for about, well, about a week. And I've tried them alone, I've tried them underneath eyeshadow, and I've tried them, well, I've tried them alone over Urban Decay Primer Potion, and then I tried them over Urban Decay Primer Potion and with eyeshadow to set. So obviously the best way for me to wear them was over Urban Decay Primer Potion with shadow, because if you wear them by themselves, they crease and they move around. They're not, they don't ever really dry to like a powdery finish. They don't stay wet, they're just kind of like, like tacky. So. I think it's best to set these. Um, as far as smudging, they do smudge. and But to me, it's a good kind of smudge. You know, you don't want to put on your cream shadow and have, like, harsh lines. So, you you know, you want to smudge the edges. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to show some swatches. This is Mutt. Put a little bit extra on. Mutt really pretty bronzy color. Pug, the taupe. In case you didn't notice, these are all named after dog breeds. And I think that's cute, you know, the whole stay, stay there, let you command your dog, whatever. Um, I don't know. Part of me thinks it's like stupid, but I don't know, another part of me thinks it's pretty cute. This is Pug. And then St. Bernard. It's here, obviously, right? So as you can see, these are pretty vibrant shades. I don't think that they have any matte shades of these cream shadows available, but um, that's okay. I mean, I like shimmer. I don't know if you can tell, but I've had these for about a week, and this is already separating from the side here, so I don't know too much what I think about that, and I've kept it tight, tightly sealed, so that kind of stinks, but I'm going to let these dry, and I'm going to demonstrate how much they smudge and move around, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back, and I've had these swatches on for, I don't know, like 15 minutes, so here they are again, Mutt, Pug, St. Bernard. And so it says, you know, 93% of women agreed Stay Their Shadow did not spudge, smut spudge, smudge. And this is based on an independent consumer test. I don't know which 93% of women those were because I hardly even have to touch and I can smudge it. Um, it smudges more than it creases though, and the creasing to me is very minimal and easy to fix. You know, you can just kind of pat it away. But I don't know if I made it sound like I didn't like these shadows, but I actually do. I think they're great for layering. I don't think that I could ever wear them just by themselves because they don't set. But I do like these shadows, and for cream shadows, they do last quite a bit of t amount of time. I think I've gotten about 
you know, a good five hours, which is pretty impressive. With, I hate this thing, with the Revlon Illuminance Cream Shadows, I got like five seconds. And with MAC Paint Pots, I probably get like two hours. So, I mean, five hours is a pretty good amount of time. So if you have any other questions, comments, have you tried these? Let me know. Thanks for watching.